What is up YouTube? Welcome back to our story and wait a second, what is this? That's not right. Ah, that is better. Wanted to be outside in the open world. So I thought I'd come out for a little bit of exercise and you know, do a video. I haven't been around much lately because I'll be honest, stressed. As usual, the flights have been cancelled and problems with getting visas secured and everything. So, turns out I went to get to the visa. I required more proof and everything, so of course I've had to apply for that and get it sent over from the Philippines directly. So, it's taken a lot of time and it will continue to take a little bit of time. But for now, I'm still enjoying things and it, it got me stressed and it got me going obviously quite on YouTube. So. But I'm back and I'm hoping that I will be doing a lot more updates now. I'm securing the paperwork for what I require. I need a few extra things. There's things like IDs um, of my wife, proof that she's actually residing out in the Philippines. So it's been a bit tricky, a little bit hard. Of course, Amsterdam's been stuck in a flight ban for the UK, but there has been some good developments so far. I have also received my first dose of vaccine. That was uh, about four weeks ago now. It was four weeks this Wednesday coming. That was the Pfizer. So I received the Pfizer about four weeks ago. It's a 12 week gap in between. So mine are probably about another three to four weeks from now. But everything has been going amazing in regards to that. My arm was a bit achy for at least a couple of weeks, which was a bit of a surprise, but no no reactions to the vaccine or anything at all so of course i'm pleased about that and i got the pfizer so that was fantastic that process was rather interesting now i'm hoping when i go for my second dose i'll try and do some recording i can't promise anything with that because you know the way things are going and everything but i'm hoping that i can record but the process was super simple turn up at the door on time um they guide you through, do all the checks, ask you the questions, all the information. Then you go to the room, get your vaccine, and you're done. The only thing you had to do was wait in a tent outside. That was just to make sure that you don't have any adverse reactions or anything like that. So, it was rather interesting. I didn't feel any effects, didn't have any reactions. So the arm was rather interesting, but other than that, I can't say there was anything going on. But today, I'm just out for a very short walk. It's about two, three miles, something like that. I thought I need to get a bit of exercise in again because I've been lazy. I'll be honest, I've been lazy. I haven't even been following the diet because I've been doing videos with Dad. Eyes for food, don't forget to check him out. We've been doing World's Biggest Chocolate Bar. We've been doing reviews on Easter eggs and everything. So there's a lot of sweets. Now, I know I should have been doing it with the weather, my mood, everything. It just wasn't right. But now I am coming back, I'm starting to get more positive, I'm starting to focus, and I'm trying to turn negatives into positives. And that's what I'm hoping to do YouTube. I don't want to be spreading negativity, I want to be spreading positivity. So, we'll see how this goes. But definitely go check out that channel. It's been some interesting uh, food reviews and stuff like that. We're trying to give honest reviews. We're just trying to be as honest as we can, and that of course, being blind, you know, it's blind taste testing, <laughs> pardon the pun. So yeah, basically, I'm out for a little walk in the countryside here, as you can see. I'll just give you a little tour. You got some beautiful fields stretching for miles. It's really a wonderful place here, and I need to start doing a little bit more walking, things like that. I'm hoping to do more vlogs. I might take you guys down to my local towns, villages, things like that, just start walking around because the UK is now starting to lift uh, restrictions. So we're starting to get a lot better, we're going more places, things like that. So I might start going a little bit further, a little bit more where we're allowed to do. Because obviously you have to do exercise, it's not permitted to do certain things. So as soon as restrictions are lifted, I can start showing you guys around a bit more for non-essential journeys, you see. But I'm doing my exercise and I thought I'd do a vlog on that while I'm here. And yeah, as I say, the restrictions are starting to lift. They're looking at um, allowing people to fly on May 17th or lift the restrictions that you're allowed to go on holiday because at the current time, it's illegal to travel abroad if you don't have reason or it's like for holidays, for things like that. It's non-essential, you see. And that goes for restrictions all around here and like just doing things daily as well. 
you're not allowed to go at non-essential purposes. But as I say, at the moment, things are starting to lift and look a lot better. My problem is, I need a haircut too. That's why I'm wearing a hat. Not only because it's cold, but my hair. Whew, you don't want to see that. You probably saw that at the beginning of this video. It's getting messy. So that's one thing I'm looking forward to is getting a good haircut as of April. So I'm excited for that. If you travel to Wales, you can get a haircut, but you're not allowed to go too far. So it's basically a quick update where we are. I'll start showing more uh, videos on the visa process, what I'm doing, because I need to obviously do that. If there's anything you guys want to ask me question wise if there's anyone that's watched these vlogs that needs help or information about getting to the Philippines although I haven't got there yet I still know a lot because I've been looking at information and what requirements are it has got complicated but that all being said I should be getting my 9a visa in the next month as in in April because I'm applying for it soon I'm just waiting on a few documents to turn up which should be arriving in a week or so and then I can apply for my visa. But that's again complicated. I need to get a notary to sign it, um, send all the documents off, make sure I have everything checked out. But it's an amazing process. I can understand why they're doing it due to health and safety and obviously what situation we're in. But for now guys, that's all I can update you with. Vaccine, restrictions lifting in the UK, more vaccines being delivered to everyone and I'm getting closer, I'm getting my restriction, uh, my visa sorted, and we're getting there. And thank you guys for getting me to 56 subscribers now. I know it's not a lot, but for me, that's a huge thing. 56 people want to see my videos. And my views are starting to climb, and I want to say a big shout out to Huel. You guys have been a massive support all the way through this, and sending me the uh, Huel. Back onto my Huel diet. I might be doing a few videos, including Huel and stuff, depending on what's going on. But I am using Huel to get myself back in shape as well as I'm doing some exercise and I'm starting to do um, a jump rope thing every day I've got to start get my form sorted on that so I'm starting to do as many jumps basically as I can physically on the skipping rope to see how far I can actually get yeah it's, it's challenging at first but if you guys want to see them videos see what real weight I'm actually losing. At the moment, I haven't changed weight, I haven't gained anything, I haven't lost it, so that is good news, but I will be starting to lose weight again. So, thanks guys for watching. I really do appreciate you all. So, don't forget to like, share and subscribe, and I hope you guys will enjoy this beautiful scenery as much as I do. So, see you in the next video. Let's bring some positivity. Yeah.